Welcome everybody, it's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk I'm fine, I'm, I'm not stuck, I, I, I went to go live and then realised I needed the toilet Then I made the mistake of asking my husband a question about what he was doing this evening And then he was telling me stuff and I was like, I, I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go, I've got people waiting for me <laughs> Anyway, welcome everybody, uh, if it's the first time to my channel please bear with me Um this sometimes does happen. I, I say I'm going live and then I don't quite go there straight away. Anyway, welcome. Hello, everybody. So uh, this evening I've been having a nice chat to some of my teamies. And earlier on in the day, I'd asked them to pick out some numbers for me. And those numbers related to some colours. And these are the colours. So I thought I may as well share them with you. So, if anyone wants to play along, we've got Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo, I can't believe we ended up with three pinks, this is so hilarious, uh, Melon Mambo, then we've got Early Espresso, Pumpkin Pie, and if you really, really must have a green, you can add in a green. I've got Granny Apple Green, but you can... You can do what you want. So during our little chat, our little teamy catch up, I have been stamping. And this was the first design that I did. And it was using, new stamp to me, Treasured Medallion. Okay, I just love this detail. A bit reminiscent of what I stamped recently for my mother. Um, it's also, I've not used this one yet. It's like a minaret kind of looking thing. This is like the most gorgeous dingle dangle you will ever find. Who's with me? Come on. Then I teamed it with In Bloom, which is not kind of your obvious thing to pair it with. But I love all the little detail of that. And I, I felt I needed something really solid to go with it. So... Because it's a new stamp to me, I thought I'd have a play with In Bloom. And then I couldn't resist then, because this is still on my desk, bringing in some of delicate petals with these beautiful little details here and there. So I'll, I'll go through what I did earlier, and then we're going to stamp something completely new as well. So I'm going to say a quick hello to everybody who's watching on the live. You've been so patient. Thank you so much. Um... Do, go, do go ahead and invite some friends in if you're still um, joining or whatever. Hi, Wendy, Janine, Serene, Linda, Sheila, B, Christine Gray, uh, Patty, Linda, Jane, who else? Amanda. Um, oh, yes, how is Patty? Patty, are you feeling better? Oh, still recovering from your shot. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Martina feels somewhat lost. Oh dear. And it was Janine. Janine, how was your Italian last night? Yes, I haven't put the Zoom information out yet. I'll do that tomorrow or maybe later today. Oh, you were playing with that as well, Janice. Ah, okay. Well, hopefully I can help you out with this one. Well, when I saw that beautiful big circle thing, I see it as a bit of a motif. You know, obviously it is a motif to have in the background. Now, up to now, I've been stamping that beautiful big thing in a lighter colour because I've wanted to put flowers like more stronger colours there but I do want to see what I can do with maybe stamping some florals in the foreground and then having this maybe having to mask them or something so that's what I'm going to play with next that's, that's my aim for this this piece now so I didn't know whether to go for um oh something like we could go for brushed blooms and or even beautiful friendship. Um, don't know. Let's try this and see what happens. 
Right, I've got you guys on, on the laptop, because I was using the laptop earlier for the Zoom. Um, your comments are really nice and big, so I shouldn't... Um, hopefully shouldn't miss, <laughs> miss your comments, but I still may miss some comments. Because when my head's down and stamping, you know, it does happen occasionally. The modern doily, yes, indeed. Yes, a modern doily. That's a good way to think of it, actually, young Howard. Nice to see you as well. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like I want to do something that's a little bit of curvy-worthy. So, I don't know, let's go in there with some melon mambo. Let's just go for it. Do I ever create masculine papers? I do share. If you have a look back on my Monday uh, broadcasts, I try and do what's called masculine mondays so i do have a playlist of masculine themed cards and papers that i've stamped now this mondays you have to excuse me because somebody somebody actually did put a comment and went you call this masculine i don't know if they if they wrote it in that tone i read it in that tone and um it was international women's day on monday so i ended up doing something feminine as well so i'm gonna to have to rename the title of mondays so um oh you bought hubby's card at hallmark oh share oh my g you may not be a card maker i'm assuming you're a card maker but that's a big assumption <laughs> are you a card maker share did you run out of time Or is your husband one of those people who, who don't, you know, really don't mind where they get their cards from? <laughs> Have I got any of my moderators on at the moment? I was going to ask them to share the playlist, but I'll, I'll do that in a bit. Hi, Miss Ellen. Yes, I'm on a little bit later than usual because uh, we were having a teamy kind of chin wag this evening. And the time just went by and I was like, oh, better go got to do a live so this is melon mambo and i'm using blushed brew brushed blooms and i'm stamping and stamping again because i want a fuller rose and i may have to just cut myself or tear myself a bit of a mask because I want to stamp that beautiful medallion in the background, so just torn a little piece of paper. And I don't want it to be like a really strict mask. I'm, I'm not I'm not too worried about that. I just want a rough a rough mask. Hi Vanessa. Who's that? Who's which Tracy's coming? Hi Tracy. I've missed some comments there. Hi Ruth Finney. Oh ch I'm chasing <laughs> furniture down my garden, I know. It is still pretty blustery. And no, the table did not move. Oh, it's Tracy Taylor, hello. Um, no, my husband was very gleeful this morning, came down and went, mm, I don't think the tarpaulin went anywhere. <laughs> oh, but, um, hi Vanessa, have you moved yet? Oh, it is a bit of a heart-shaped mask, isn't it? Okay, so the reason I have masked it because I want to stamp this gorgeous medallion to make it look like it's coming from behind the um, flowers. So I could, I'm, I'm going to stamp some leaves and things in there, so that's fine. Hi, Paula Menard from sunny Sioux City, Iowa. Welcome, it's the first time I've caught you live and I enjoy you and your sister's tutorials. Oh, welcome. Oh, I'm so glad you could make it. 
and thank you for saying hello as well. It's always great to meet, meet people who follow. Uh, you're very welcome. So that's Paula. Please welcome Paula, everybody. Anybody else new on here? You've got high winds in Michigan as well. <laughs> Tie down your trampolines. Oh, yes. You don't want them flying around your garden. Well, in the morning, about just after nine o'clock in the UK, I usually expect a phone call. And it's one of these phone calls that says something like, um, uh, your Amazon account has been hacked, you need to blah, blah, blah. Or, uh, this is the sheriff's office and you are outstanding tax or something. Anyway, I had, can you believe I actually had one of those sort of scam phone calls? Uh, that was telling me it was the sheriff's office. I, 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 I was just like, oh my goodness, are you scammers that stupid that you think that I'm that stupid to believe that uh, in the UK we have a sheriff's office that I need to be beholden to? Anyway, so around nine o'clock, some mornings we get a bit of a scam phone call. Anyway, this morning um, I was, <laughs> we were just about to start our our uh, Zoom devotionals that we do, uh, May and I meet up with some other friends. And I get this phone call. So I thought, hmm, I think I recognise that mobile number. Oh, well, I better answer it. Hello. And it's it's Tom upstairs. Tom's like, um, I'm locked in the upstairs bathroom. Can you come and let me out? <laughs> So because we were on the Zoom call, I put him on speaker and I went, sorry, can you say that again? <laughs> so everybody could hear him. He went, because the lock on the bathroom's popped up and I can't get it. Can someone come and let me out? I was like, okay. <laughs> so all the kids knew about this dodgy lock and they're like they've like worked out what they're meant to do. But anyway... They went and let him out and we were like, well, thank goodness you took your phone with you. You could have been in there for days. <laughs> the kids were like, yeah, they'll be like, where's dad gone? Oh, yeah, not seen him since Tuesday, you know. <laughs> anyway, so we let Tom out. Uh, right. Um, so now we're going to do some nice fillery bits. And, oh, we've got so much to choose from. Um, I wouldn't mind... Oh, do we want to put in some of these? Um, mm, 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 mm. Or do we just go, go for the flowers? These flowers. I'm like, oh, so much to choose from. Yeah, he was fine. Anyway, so then later in the morning, he was like, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think my tarpaulin went anywhere. And I was like, yeah, no, it did. It went all the way upstairs and it dislodged the lock and came all the way back down again. So I know that's a really kind of like abstract thought, but we're a bit like that. We have these random abstract thoughts in this house. Right, so this is pumpkin pie. Now these colours, before you start going... Ruth, you're really terrible at choosing colours. Or, Ruth, you're really great at choosing colours. These were completely... Uh, what's the word? Randomly chosen. Because I asked my teammates to just pick a number. And the number corresponded to a colour in the book. I have tried some of the colours you use. Um, oh. Oh, sorry, I... Just scrolling to see that comment. Oh, I was started reading it. And Helen retracted it. Never mind. Um, oh yeah, Tom's always trying to, you know, outwit me. We're, we're constantly trying to outwit each other. Yeah. And then sometimes he sort of, he tells a joke. And you know when someone tells a joke... And it obviously is really funny, but you don't want them to know it's really funny. So I will try and keep like a straight face for as long as possible. 
and he's like there staring at me and I'm like and then I just crack <laughs> right now what is so lovely about this stamp set is all the layering that you can do with it so you've got sort of big one big well three big ones you've got one two medium mm, that one maybe as well that one two three and then we've got one two three even smaller ones and then you've got one two three even smaller so the amount of layering and creating of flowers with this stamp set is just stunning thank you esther thanks so Esther's just put the link to um, my masculine playlist. So this is now Flirty Flamingo. I'm just going in here to put some different floral shapes. Okay. Now this is by no means finished yet. We've still got quite a way to go. Okay, I like that so far. Then we've got this lovely one that I think could fit inside. So let me grab that melon mambo. And at the moment, I don't know what I'm going to do with this paper. I'm just stamping for the fun of it, to enjoy all the shapes and kind of really get to know these stamps and see what they can do probably will get cut up and used for card making and yes I know there's a kind of quite a bit of white space going on up there but I, I might bring something else in there in a bit so look at this this fits in there beautifully how lovely is that okay back a second and I'm wondering if I could stamp so this is early espresso if I could stamp early espresso into the centres of these orange flowers Ooh. makes them look quite bold now doesn't it Hi Mary, nice to see you. Ah, oh, take care Nessa, yes I will. Ah, oh, Ellen. Ellen just walked away and then came back and was like, Donna. Okay, so that was that brown. So I haven't used Blush and Bride yet, so we'll get that on the go. And I want a slightly different shape, I think. And I haven't used... I've got this cute little daisy. Oh, this flower. Have I used that flower yet? No, I haven't. Now, because it is a light colour, um, I'm not going to do so much stamping off with it because Blushing Bride is already quite light. Oh, now, okay, let me just show you what can happen. I don't know if it, you're going to see this, but... So where I stamped on the brown, it reactivated the brown and then it transferred onto my stamp. And then when I stamped it again over there, I got a kind of, what's the name of that technique? <laughs> where it then, can you see it sort of picked up, picked it up? Which is quite sweet. Yes, this looks very Indian. I did think of you when these colours were chosen earlier, Martina, because I thought, oh, Martina loves these kind of Indian 
the pink colours. Okay, right, I'm liking that. And then, um, what should I have for the centre? Oh, there's this lovely kind of daisy-like centre. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> right. So this time I'm getting the pumpkin pie and having those as my centre. Right, now I think it's time to start adding some green. So we've got some leaves in here. We also have this beautiful design here, which I haven't decided if I'm going to use that for in the brown or whether I'm going to do that in the green yet. We'll see how this stage goes first and then we'll decide. Yes, that's it, kissing technique, that's it. Thank you. I know there's a, there's a technique that you deliberately do that to get a transfer of image. What stamp is this great? It's, it's actually Early Espresso and it's this stamp here from Treasured Medallion. Okay, so I feel like I need to put some leaves just behind these roses. But I'm really struggling to get them in the place that I want them to go. Oops. This is where I probably would be happier with a photopolymer stamp more than a rub red rubber one. And also, I do struggle having this as three. I, I really am desperate to cut cut it. All right, is Deborah watching? Glenna, Glenna, look away now. Yes, I am cutting my stamp because it's my stamp, and I'll do what I want with it. <laughs> Glenna, no! Oh, you know what? I'm already so much more happier, Glenna. I'm a happier person for this. Share in my joy, won't you? <laughs> Don't faint. Someone's part of the smelling salts. Quick! Oh, I can put it where I want it to go now. I love it even more. I will use it even more. <sighs> Bye, Cher. Take care. That wasn't because I cut the stamp, was it? Did she genuinely have to go? Oh yes, Ruth does it so you don't have to. <laughs> you do not have to cut your stamps. No, you do not have to do what I do. But it's very tricky to get some of the results that I want if I leave them whole. <coughs> yeah. It's alright, Glenna, there's some dotage coming in a minute, don't you worry. <laughs> oh, 
I heard it cry. Oh, Vanessa. Go for it, Sheila. You can do it. You've got the guts. Well done, Martina. I'm proud of you. <laughs> just don't don't tell uh just don't tell Glenna. Okay, so this is yes, this is a bud, just saying, but I'm using it as a leaf. Oh, I should have taken the mat for it away from underneath. It's not stamping properly. Okay, next I want to... Okay, so this stamp set does have leaves. But I find these leaves incredibly large. So I haven't quite got the guts up to use it, but maybe I will. Maybe I will. I'll try it out. It's a pretty big leaf, isn't it? I, I'm kind of stamping over those leaves that I did earlier because I really wasn't happy with how they turned out and actually this big leaf is working fine. Hi Helen, Martinez, hi. Are you new to my channel? Yes, I have cut up stamps before. Mm. Well, you know, when it just doesn't seem to work, it's got to be done. Right, so the other thing that's on these, you've got these kind of like long things. And I was wondering whether these are designed to be stamped along the leaves to give you kind of that extra bit of veining. Can you see that? not quite showing up as well. I know what, let me just do that full strength. So I'm wondering whether these are can be used as like the vein of the leaf. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm just going to have to succumb and use some leaves from something else in a second. But also I want to use this. And I don't know, I'm feeling the brown. I am thinking about using this brown. And I'm not going to ink up the whole of it. I'm just going to ink up partially. You see that? <sighs> what are you what are you telling Helen? I hope you're being nice about me, you lot. Don't be putting her off now. She'll never come back. <laughs> I just keep looking up every so often to read what you're saying. Oh, y'all make my day. I needed the laughs, says Mary Holt. I've got no idea what accent Mary Holt has. I just kind of, you know, placed an accent on her then. Mary, what part of the world do you come from? Oh, 
My family knows dinner waits till breeze is done. <laughs> How, oh yes, I'm sorry, I did ask how your pasta was. You probably did reply, but I didn't read it. Okay, I'm just trying to think where to put this. <laughs> yeah, Ruth's on. Dinner will wait. <laughs> oh, good. Hi, Alexis. Oh, thank you. It, this stamp is really funny because part of me wants to treat it like a leaf. And I'm like, okay, I'm popping it in different places. But then the other thing I'm aware of is that I've got this, I've got these medallions here already. So I don't want to stamp these too close to those medallions to interfere with them. So I've got all these things going on in my head at the moment, trying to figure out where to stamp this. So I'm like, can I fit one in there? Oh, just about. Okay. And then, and where have I got space to put one? Oh, maybe there. Oh, lemonade scones. Oh, they are so easy to do, aren't they? Are you like me? Like, when you find a recipe you like, you kind of, like, do it and do it and do it until it's, like... You get all get sick of it. My mum used to be like that. And it's so funny because I think I've completely turned into her in that sense. Like if I find a recipe I like, I'm like, oh, I've got to keep doing it, keep doing it. Oh, I really like it. And then the kids are like, oh no, not that again. Right, Glenna, you're going to be happy about this. Look at these darling dots. This is so adorable. Let me just show you what it's like. Look. Look at these. It's tiny spotages. Okay, now I need to figure out where I'm going to stamp them. Oh yeah, lemonade, lemonade scones. Oh, sorry, can you see that guys? There was a lemonade cobbler recipe that I did once. Uh, I think you, you basically just get flour and Maybe a bit of butter and then frozen fruit and then you just literally sprinkle lemonade over it and then shove it in the oven. Something like that. Don't quote me on it. Oh, I used my Instant Pot for the first time to bake a cake today. Came out a little bit, I don't know if it was the recipe because it wasn't an official Instant Pot recipe. I adapted one from a normal bakery book, baking book, and it, it seemed to come out a little bit uh, claggy, but as I said, I'm not sure if that was the recipe anyway. You guys are all nuts. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Chocolate cheesecake in into the pot. Oh, Jan, can you message me? Yeah. We've got walnuts, hazelnuts. I'm sure my father tells a funny story about hazelnut. Esther, do you remember that story? Dad used to tell. Right. Um, I don't know whether to put more green on this. I know what, I'll, I'll step back and have a look at it. Just trying to see what needs to be done. It's 
See, I feel these, I don't like seeing the white of these flowers. I think I'm just gonna get. Hi, Paula. Blueberry jam in the soup maker. Ooh. So I'm just getting the blushing bride and brushing some of that pink because I don't like it when it's white behind them. So this is blushing bride and we stamped the roses in melon mambo. See that looks better in my opinion. What do you think? So that's the difference. You've got the the one stamp just on the white and you can see the white through and then these are the ones with the pink. There are stamp sets with a single little leaf. Oh yeah, loads. Night Esther. Yes, a bit of blue would look lovely. The reason I'm not going to do it with this one is because this was a colour challenge that my team they chose numbers and this is this was the colours that they ended up with so I'm going to stick to this for now but then um, I think I'll I will add I'll do I'll do another one and we'll, we'll change the colours up a bit um, okay so the only thing I feel that I want to do is maybe add some small brown flowers but I won't do them full strength I'll stamp off at the side so I've got a bit of a stamp mountain happening here. So I'm just going to stamp off once and then just stamp some little flowers. And at this point now I'm kind of looking for gaps, so where perhaps I had a gap where the medallion didn't quite meet the roses properly, I'm going to try and cover it up basically. So that's okay, so what have we got up here, I've got maybe a leaf in the wrong place. You guys will follow um, Ellen. If you don't follow Ellen, she's an Australian demonstrator who I've known for years and years. And we team up to do the Christmas Stampathon challenges once a, a month. And she does have her own YouTube channel. Right, so who caught the template um, video the other week? What was this about? I did too thinking, what is pumpkin pie? Oh, not knowing. Lind Linda misread Ellen's comment. Loving the pump pumpkin pie pop. <laughs> oh, Linda. I feel like I want to do some little mini pumpkin pie dots. Oh, I could use the really tiny dots. I'll do that instead. 
do a bit of random dotage. See, I probably would never have chosen to put these colours together. But that's why it's sometimes fun just to randomly choose colours that you wouldn't normally put together. And just go for it, just have a have a try, see if it works. Now because I don't have a nice big dotage stamp, I'm just using this tiny one and stamping multiples. Take care, Howard. Right. So this piece I envisage cutting into threes or fours. I'd cut it lengthways so that each panel you would have some of the design on it. Now, the, of course, this this panel here. Well, depends if you do it in threes or fours, but that one's got quite a lot of design on it. But no, that one, that one's not got, it's got quite a bit as well. So, whatever colour gets thrown at you, make it work. Oh, thank you, Martina. <laughs> oh, okay, take care, Harad. See you soon. Right, let's try this now with a different colour scheme. So if anyone wants to suggest a different colour scheme, please go for it. I want to have another practice with this sort of idea of having the filigree in the background, but we could change it up and use a different rose. So while you guys are telling me your ideas for colour schemes, I'm going to pop these away. Blue. Says Janine. Okay. I could use a cutting template for the decision. I could, couldn't I? <laughs> it's just that they're in a they're in a box over there, and I didn't feel quite like moving. Medallions in Bermuda Bay. Ooh. That could work. Oh, that sounds nice, Jackie. Medallion and bloom stamps. I did monochrome with blues. Okay. I was thinking of using the rose from... Beautiful Friendship. Let's do something with that. I like Phoebe's as well. Um, okay, let me just grab my inks. What did you say? Bird and bird. This is Peacock. I will get Bermuda Bay out. Is quite a risky, not a risky, but interesting suggestion.
a medallion in Bermuda Bay and sponged with a bit of peacock. Oh, I see, so that you have two tones. Okay. In that case, then the roses are going to have to be in Cajun. Need a re-ink. Oh, thank you, Paula. thinking these um, these roses are very circular so it's probably quite easy for me to yeah they, they are on their way Martina they've Basically, because you ordered the complete set, Stampin' Up! are waiting for all the inkers of all the colours to come in before they send out the whole sets. So... We keep getting notifications that more ship shipments are coming in. But they're not even some they're just not even in Europe at the moment. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's so frustrating because they I remember when you ordered actually, they had that 25% off. They, well not 25%, I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm can't remember the percentage, but they did a special offer, didn't they? There was like a percentage off. And I think loads of people ordered, but they couldn't fulfil the orders. So yeah. You'll have to keep using the the colors that you you don't like so much. <laughs> I've emailed me for Oh, have you Jackie? Okay, I'll have a look. Are you on Artful Stamping Space? Feel free to share on there, please. If you create anything it's lovely to see what you guys have been doing. Okay, so this rose is such an easy one to create a mask for. I decided to do that very quickly. It doesn't even matter if you don't get them. Oh, uh, okay, Martina. I thought you ordered them when they were they had that special on. There was there was some day when like a, a one day sale. I thought you did it then. Yeah, we don't get paper pumpkin. Enjoy it though, Phoebe. <laughs> 
Or did you not like it? Or did you like it? Right, that's done. So we're going to stamp the medallion in a blue. Oh, that rain started again. I'm very getting very messy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't like how it's in line. <laughs> oh well. Sometimes you look you look at one area and you think, oh yes, I want that there because and then you realise then it clashes somewhere else. But so I don't want to do that again. So let's have that one a bit higher up. Yes, I do too, Phoebe. So sometimes if the rubber keeps being picked up too much sorry the ink gets picked up too much by the rubber you can trim away the excess pieces of rubber so it doesn't pick the ink up so much I was trying to do this a bit quicker than the last one, but it's still a process that you just need to take your time over. Okay. So this is now Pretty Peacock and I'm using this lovely floral sweep of a stamp. And the Pretty Peacock and the Bermuda Bay just make the most lovely friends. <laughs> I think they're probably cousins actually, so they are related, so they do work well together.
So what were you asking about, who said about shaded spruce? No, this is pretty peacock. I feel like I want to put in some little, I want to bring in the pumpkin pie again, you know. I think it could work. I'm just looking to see if there's another flower that I'd want to use. Yeah, pretty perennials, this one. I want more of that watercolour effect. Hi Dina, welcome. So I'm using Pretty Perennials now because it has got that sort of lovely watercolour sort of feel to it. And I'm resisting the urge to put granny apple green in the mix because I really want to try and keep this to the blues and the oranges that we kind of look for. Ah, you, ah so Phoebe wants me to use the, the citrus. Right, so this is coastal banner going in here now. Glenn is determined that I get some spotage into this. Yeah, Zoom is on for tomorrow. I'll be doing the links later. So what I may do is, because the Zoom will be on a time where I would normally do a live, I might, during the Zoom, um, just still do a live on YouTube as well. And I think we decided we were going to do some colour challenges. So.
Okay, I'm enjoying that Bermuda. Now I feel like I want to go for an even smaller flower. Um, <laughs> sorry, this is quite stamp set heavy today, isn't it? Using quite a few. Right, where's my... Oh, there it is. Oops. Choose that tiny one. Either that or that one. Actually, that's a bit too similar, isn't it? And we'll go for this one. Yes, I saw Nessa's message. Thank you, Jan. Yeah, I will message her. Oh, no, not pumpkin. Oh, Cajun. So if you're new to stamping up and wondering why I'm calling these colours different names, it's because stamping up name the colours to make it a bit easier to refer to them and they alliterate the names. So we've got Cajun Craze, Early Espresso, Granny Apple Green. Um, and they do kind of like evoke what they look like. Yes, yeah, so I was going to do Zoom, 8 o'clock my time, to catch any Australians that are getting up in the morning. Miss Ellen, um, and others. <laughs> so Friday night, and then we're going to be doing something on Saturday afternoon for me. So it's probably going to be from 12-ish uh, onwards, my time. So the... These tiny little flowers just help to create a bit of a different texture. And yes, I'm kind of clustering them. Can someone tell me what is the video that shows where she cuts? Oh, um, yes, Helen, I will put that in the description later um, or if Linda are you a bit of a whiz can you find the video that I did recently with the templates and then link it here for me Thanks. Okay, so can you see those little, little tiny, teeny, tiny? Yeah, so it's, what's the time for me now? It's 10 to midnight here. Right, um, I'm trying to figure out whether to pull in some dots from somewhere else. Okay, I'm going to give in and go to Forever Fern. And get this stamp here, the dot, dotty one. Hi Pamela, lovely to see you. One cheap wonder freckles. Oh, I love that. Thanks, Linda. 
Now I know it might seem quite scary to go in with a dark dot, but um, you do want it to show up. So. I am still tempted to go in with a granny apple, you know. I know Phoebe's really wanting me to, aren't you? But I'm thinking it does need it. It needs something zingy to lift it. Oh, Sheila doesn't stop creating cards, do you, Sheila? I've never known Sheila stop. Oh, thank you, Mary. We call the dotage freckles now. <laughs> oh, I loved lemon lime twist, Phoebe. Yeah, I don't have it anymore though. But yeah, no, that was one of my colours that I liked. Well, if there's anyone in the States who's happy to sell their lemon lime twist to Phoebe, let her know. Sometimes they'll come up on eBay or the... There are various Facebook groups that you can try and track things down on. It has a bit of a vintage flair. It does, doesn't it? I think the colours are a little bit vintage. And then the roses are very, I think, old fashioned. Yeah, you were so right, Phoebe. <laughs> I should trust your colour judgments. You, you have a great eye for colour. Yes, I did. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. So for those of you who don't know um, how it is that someone's donated money on the chat, it's um, you, you just press the dollar sign and you can donate. But I also accept PayPal donations as well because... If you're donating more than, say, I don't know, $5 or £5 or something, I actually, I receive more of the money if it's done through PayPal. So, now, I don't, I don't ask for the money, if that makes sense. I don't, it's, it's, you know, you don't have to give me money in order to watch my channel. That's my, that's what I'm trying to say. You know, what I do is part of my Stampin' Up! business and to promote what I do and to inspire my customers. But the, um, the option to donate came from viewers who wanted to support what I do who are unable to purchase through me because they live in a different region. So I can't sell Stampin' Up! products to Americans, Australians and New Zealanders. So there are quite a few who watch my channel from those parts of the world and who want to be able to support me. So they do. Yes, there's a PayPal link in the description. Or www.artful, is it? No, paypal.me forward slash artful stamping, I think it is. Right. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering if some tiny little. feel like it needs something else darker in there. Oh, lemon lime twist is up. Now, which country is it in, Christine? Let's see. 
Phoebe. Phoebe, Christine's out there. Uh, Janine, you can't put links. Sorry, um, I'd have to make you an, an ad. I could make you an admin for. Yeah, only admins on the channel can um, post links. Thanks, Linda. That's why Linda's. I just I just quickly made Linda an administrator so that she could do what I asked her to do. So this little stamp here is designed to be like a centre of a flower but I find it really useful for creating uh, a bit of colour around the edges of flowers like this. Especially when you want, want them to stand out a bit more. So I really want these gorgeous Cajun flowers to be shown off. Right, and then the last thing that I want to do, <laughs> she says, is bring in the pumpkin pie. Oh, you've got apple strudel out. Oh. Hi, Denise. So I'm just getting my brush. Oh, that's a bit dark, but never mind. I'll, I'll go a bit gentler now. And I, again, I don't like seeing that white behind the roses. It doesn't make sense to me that you would see behind or see through the rose. So I'm just adding a little bit of colour those roses just so that they don't look like they're see-through. I don't think it was actually. I think the new ink pad format came in the year after it left. Phoebe. Oh, there have there've been some beautiful bits of stamp. Well, you, they're all beautiful, but you guys are really uh, showing off your stuff at the moment on Artful Stampin' Space. Well, I think this is terribly pretty. <laughs> if I say so myself, <laughs> terribly, terribly pretty. Right, let's work work this backwards in terms of colours then. So we use pumpkin pie, Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green, Pretty Peacock, Cajun Craze, and Coastal Cabana. All right. And then the stamp sets that we used were just a little bit of Forever Fern, but you can use whatever dotage you've got. You don't have to use that one. Beautiful Friendship. And the star of the show tonight was Treasured Medallion. So, oh, underneath here somewhere. Oh, I'm not going to do it tonight, but I'm really looking forward to playing the word game with this one. <laughs> so we've got Forever Fern, Beautiful Friendship, and Treasured Medallion. Uh, was that it? Oh, then a little bit of... I used Pretty Perennials, that one. And we also used the In Bloom... Not In Bloom... Uh, what's it called? Have I dropped it on the floor? Oh no, there it is. In Bloom. I think I used one of these. 
Yeah, that one. I use that one. But you know, use use whatever whatever little flowers stamps you've got to hand, really. Okay, so then the previous one, this one, now where have I put all the ink pads for that one? Oh, I think so on my desk somewhere. Got that one. Flirty Flamingo, oh no, Melamambo, Flirty Flamingo. Blushing Bride, Pumpkin Pie, Granny Apple Green and Early Espresso. Yes, I try and do a recap at the end of all my videos and then also in the description I will put a list as well of all the colours and stamps that I've used. Um, yeah. Okay, so I've used those. Definitely used in Bloom definitely use treasured medallion and brushed blooms okay oh Dina missed the first one oh well you can go back and enjoy that one later so really unusual. I I wouldn't wouldn't normally put these colours together, but they have just worked so beautifully. Really, really great. Yeah. So if you are new to my channel and you're not over on Artful Stamping Space, please go to Facebook, type in Artful Stamping Space, apply to join the group, and please, please, please answer the questions. If you don't answer the questions, I can't let you in. So answer the questions. It's just to prove that you're a real person and uh, actually genuinely interested in what we do. Uh, we're, we're planning a bit of a Zoom kind of get together over the weekend. So all the details for that will be on Artful Stamping Space, unless you do not use Facebook. Otherwise then email me at ruthtrice at Gina, at Gina. I've just looked up to read Gina. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am tired now, just saying. Thank you, Ellen. Um, ruthtrice at gmail.com thank you email me ruthtrice at gmail.com if you want the zoom information right so this was the one i didn't film myself doing this but this was my first play with that um treasured medallion stamp set and and then also i had a little bit of a play as well with this one so this, I think, looks so 70s, it looks so retro. I think it's these great big things here. <laughs> so, Right, so out of the ones that I've done this evening, let me know which was your favourite. Do comment in the section below. And please do have a go at doing this if you've never tried before. Uh, you're only wasting a little bit of ink and a little bit of paper but generally we find and and th this is what's been so heartening actually on Artful Stamping Space a lot of, we've had a few people recently say I didn't like what I started with when I did it but when I came back to it and cut it up it worked so don't be too hasty to throw things in the bin because Sometimes you just need a moment away from it. And then also, you can come back in and stamp more. You know, you can walk away and then come back and go, ah, oh, I know what I need. Or you could be falling asleep at night and go, you know, oh, I know what I need to do. And then you have to get up and have another go. Okay, so if you haven't checked out my video about templates, I've just grabbed my some templates just to show you how they work. So what I've done is I've drawn onto vellum paper, Ellen, vellum, Ellen, vellum, Ellen, you're going to love this. So I've, this is my template for 
uh, what's this called? Slimline cards. But so if I if I was to cut this into three, so I can get an idea of what it would look like. Now, <laughs> now this would give me an idea if I just wanted to cut that down and cut that off. Um, or I may decide to cut it at that point there and actually keep that section and create a card and then maybe put a sentiment there and then use this for something else. And then the reason I've got these lines is just to show that if I wanted to just use a strip what that would look like. Okay, so that's one way of cutting up my sheet and then if I wanted to find out what it would look like if I cut it into four that's what it would look like so obviously I would lose I would lose quite a bit of space there but because I've got this extra line here this is what it would look like as a slim line and then this is what it would look like using just just as a kind of a big template. Oh, thanks, Susan. Yeah, I don't understand why you don't have a, a comment section. It's so odd. We've we've conversed about this, haven't we? It's very strange. Are you what Susan, are you watching on a laptop or a like a tablet or something thanks Linda okay so that's also showing what it would look like cut up like that yeah you definitely have to you have to be signed in but she must be signed in Linda because her name is showing okay so this is just showing what well I presume that if you've got a name it's sh it, that you do very strange okay so these this is what the templates sort of just help you do they help you kind of figure out where how you're going to cut things up so uh, you need to be signed into YouTube to to write in the comment section uh, we're just talking about Su Susan says that she can never um, she can never comment Okay, I'm just going to flip my camera and show you my laptop and show you where the comment section would be. Alright, so if you're signed in, if you go to the top right hand corner here and tap on there, it should come up with your name, Susan. And then the way that you then comment is that you... Ooh, hold on, I've got to get rid of that. She should be able to just go there. Oh, hold on. Oh no, can you not comment when I'm live or something? Oh, maybe not. Very strange. But anyway, th those are all my links there. Um, I could go to a previous video. Hold on. My channel. Videos. That was yesterday's. Okay. So the. No one can comment when you're live. Ah, uh, you might need to set up a new account then, Susan because the comment section is usually just below this 
section here. So this is the description section and then your the comment section is right underneath it. So um, yeah, it might be worth um, <laughs> yeah, there's no comment um there's no comment section when I'm chat uh, sorry when I'm live apparently. Ooh, ooh, sorry. Good idea. Good idea, Phoebe. Yes, Lin Linda's just been made admin so that she could share links. So on my channel, I, ha I have a no sharing link option. So I've ticked it because the reason I ticked it is just in case I get odd people um, coming into my lives and wanting to share links and spam you and all that kind of thing. So I, I tend to, yeah, I, I can revoke it, Linda. <laughs> Um, I have the power. Um, yes, I put lipstick on for my team meeting. I don't always do that. <laughs> I actually washed my hair today, but it's gone so fuzzy. Oh, this is what happens when I wash my hair. It goes all fuzzy wuzzy. But, um, and then I've realised my hair is super long. Look, look how long it is now. Woo. Thank you, Glenna. Um, okay, so any other issues, YouTube stuff, you do have a YouTube account. So Susan, if you go and check out my other videos and see if you can comment on those. Um, yeah, I don't understand why you shouldn't be able to comment. I haven't blocked you. <laughs> Just saying. And actually, I know I haven't blocked you because I can see your comments. So, um. Yeah, we all have COVID hairstyles, yeah. Yeah, I have got some of that um, oil, like serum-y stuff to put in it, but then I just think it almost defeats the object. Once you've got nice, fresh, clean hair, do you want to then be putting loads of product back, to, back in it to, um, you know, it's not, I'm not, I don't need to impress anybody with my hair right now, so. Yeah, Christine, I, I thought you could. So sorry I've confused people. Apparently you can't comment in the comment section when I'm live. You have to wait for me to to go. So Oh I love your hair, Martina. It's so wispy and pretty. I'm I'm aiming for yours. I've got the length, but I haven't got the colour yet. It's coming. I've I've got a few silvers. A few more silvers. Martina has this beautiful like long silvery hair that she puts up like this. And then she has little dangly bits like this. She reminds me of the grandma out of Red Riding Hood. That's that's what she evokes. I'm not odd, just different. Oh yeah, we're all unique. <laughs> right, great to see you all, and um, I'll I'll see you guys later. See you tomorrow. I'm going to go and create the Zoom stuff now and put it up on um, Artful Stamping Space. I'll put it in two places. I'll put it in the March chat and I'll also create a post. But I know sometimes those posts get pushed down to the bottom because every time people comment on stuff, other posts get pushed to the top. So I'll put it in the March chat as well because that's a pinned post to the top. So... Yes, looking forward to seeing y'all tomorrow. <laughs> it is tomorrow, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, it's quarter past. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay, Susan. Yeah, that that's fine. I think that's probably most people's experience. Although I'm surprised it's a few days. It's usually, should be a few minutes. But Oh, well, at least you can. That's good. Lots of love to you all. Thank you so much for your company, as always, and your encouragement and your your cheerleading and everything. Brilliant. 
You don't need to get dressed either. You can stay in your pyjamas if you want to. See you. Okay, great Paula. Fab.